Are we all packed up? I think so. Um, got everything in the trailer that needs to be there. And now for Friday, we can just say, throw a little food in, a little bit of clothes in, we're good to go. Like you always say, that's all you need to do to go camping. It is. Yeah. But then the planner and me needs to have a menu and make sure we actually have all the right food for the meals. So for you, it is. For yeah. me, there's a little more work. Yeah, okay. Let's but go. We're ready to go. I'm ready. stars for a while. Pretty amazing night. Just the top. You'll preserve the bottom of the butter and the top will be able to be used to spread evenly on your French toast. Some of you guys want to go start eating. They're actually sweet. You want to get the syrup out? So I thought I'd show you some of the new camping gear that I brought along on this trip. Some of the new things that we're going to start carrying for the summer that uh, I think you're going to you're going to like them. One of the first things we upgraded this year that we uh, purchased around Christmas time was the Everest Mountain Series Camp Chef stove. Uh, this was kind of a big deal for us. We had done a Coleman for about 20 plus years, and it just doesn't have a good way to simmer and we were looking for something that had a little more control for simmer uh, this has two 20,000 BTU burners it has the auto ignite feature which we never had before that's kind of handy and the biggest thing is it's adjustable so we can adjust it down and simmer something keep something warm without either having it burning burning hot or a way too cool and too small flame that the flame would go out so we're really, really excited about this. Uh, cooked up some sandwiches on it already this morning and it's gonna work out really well. It's a big upgrade from our Coleman. Coleman served us well for a lot, a lot of years. There's nothing wrong with the Coleman ones. They're inexpensive. That's probably their biggest name to the game, but this is a, a big upgrade for us, giving us simmer control. I know everybody likes their black stones, that kind of thing. We get asked all the time, what's the name of this pan? Who makes it? Uh, we actually just got this at Aldi's. So they're, I don't have a brand, unfortunately, but it's just an aluminum pan. Um, it is not anything special. Another thing we added was this GCI table, this little side table. This thing's pretty slick. Uh, I've seen a lot of YouTubers, campers, overlanders had this table, had to give it a try. Um, it's got telescopic legs. I'm not sure on the size. We'll make sure we link it in the description. Wendy's going to demonstrate. Folds up really quick. The legs fold in, so it's super compact, easy to carry. 
easy to put in your truck or in your trailer. Sets up pretty conveniently. So you can run it lower like she just had or you can extend the legs and get the full height of it. And you can sit with a chair next to this thing and you could put a plate on there, have a meal, not a problem. And it's not too low. Some of them we've seen really, really low to the ground. We want something that's a little dual purpose that we could have a higher if we we're gonna eat, eat off it or a little bit lower if you just want it around the campfire. So we'll link it down in the description. So one thing Wendy wanted was a rocking chair. We had a really big one, it was a Cabela's, but it was way too clumsy and big for hauling along on trips. So we just leave that one at home for the campfire there. But this is the Mac rocker. The thing we like about this one, some of the rockers, they have a built-in gas shock that kind of runs across this area here. And from some reports we had heard, those can go bad. You gotta replace the shock. This one doesn't have that, still provides enough of a position where this thing will rock a little bit. Um, we found it on Amazon from some other camping friends of ours. It does have a little cup holder area here on the side. You can put things in, put your phone in, put a drink in, and then on the inside here, it has a uh, little zippered pocket to go store stuff. So we really like it. I should say she really likes it. It's pretty much her chair. And I don't know if it comes in other colors or not, but we'll link it down in the description below if you're interested. One thing I did add this year was a Blue Sea uh, battery cutoff switch. So this is just a simple one. Doesn't have like a one, two, two different kinds of batteries. It's just on or off. This is the mini version. I'll link it in the description if you're interested. Um, if you're interested in a more thorough video on this and install, let me know in the comments. But basically, we just had to drill a hole big enough for this module to go into the battery top and just through bolted it. It's pretty easy. Um, then we just tied on our accessories. And once we got our accessories tied on, make sure they're fused. I can quickly just kill the whole trailer by flipping that switch. So when we're traveling down the road, we don't have anything that needs to be powered. We can kill the whole trailer. When we get to camp, we need power. Just flip it on. Same with storage. Works really well for that too. So that was something new we added this year. So we added the 230 uh, shower room this year. Really like it. Um, it's handy. It's quick deploying. It's lightweight. I think it's kind of a game changer. You don't have to bring an accessory tent around. It's easy to hook up. I got a full video on this if you're interested in a full review, but it is pretty dumb handy. Absolutely love it. Got plenty of room. Had to, we got really, really windy day today. So I made sure I staked out two of the stakes and hasn't been any issue. So absolutely love this for the new addition for this year. Lastly, we added the Jackery battery system. Absolutely love these. I've got two of them. Um, this is the 500 model. I plugged this into my Dometic fridge, ran it for two and a half hours up to our location where we're camping, and it sipped 3% battery life just running the fridge. So this is the 500 model too. The 1000 would, would be even more energy efficient. Now we pre-chilled the fridge before we plugged it into this. It definitely helps because now you're just maintaining it, but these Jackeries are just bomb proof. Uh, really, really enjoy them. Have had a lot of good luck with them. So my son plugged in the Jackery 500 with this fan blowing all night on him and charging his phone. And I believe he got it. Yeah, right around 42%, so that's pretty good. We'll charge it up during the day and this will be perfect every night for them. Quick light, portable power is the name of the game. I got a couple reviews on this. I'll link them in the description below if you want more detail. Details on the Jackery, either the 500 or the 1000. 